welcome everybody uh, to the Jarkovsky Institute at this sort of at this rainy evening. So thanks very much for so many people to have come through this uh, horrible weather here. Uh, my name is Peter Van Dobbel, and I'm the director of the Jarkovsky Institute. And again, uh, very uh, a warm welcome to everybody to uh, attend this lecture. Uh, as you can see from the number of people who have indeed turned up in this horrible weather. Pompeii is obviously a topic that uh, is well known. It's one of those few archaeological sites uh, that actually really everybody knows. We talk about many sites, uh, that, well, that's what we do all the time. Most of the time, you have to begin with introductory maps and explain what it is and so on. Pompeii is one of those iconic places uh, that everybody knows about. And uh, more than that, uh, Pompeii is also a site where, for many, it has all its problems, and we will we'll be hearing more about it. But it's also a site where much interesting work has been done in recent years and is being done, and even more, I think, is going to be done. And so I'm very pleased here to introduce to you to talk, uh, to introduce to here for this talk, uh, Professor Massimo uh, Ozana, um, who is the uh, director, or as it's called in Ita as he's called in Italian, Sovrintendente uh, of uh, Pompeii. Italy, uh, as all countries, uh, has an organization of um, heritage services, you call sort of uh, archaeological uh, management. And, but Pompeii, as it should be, I suppose, Pompeii is the Superintendenza Speciale. And, um, and it also so has a Superintendenza Speciale uh, after uh, recent uh, reorganizations. So uh, Massimo has been there since 2014 and uh, will be there for another uh, three years and, and a little bit uh, from now. At the same time, uh, he has uh, been an associate and uh, assistant and uh, after that associate professor at the University of uh, Basilicata in Matera in the south of Italy, uh, and before which he um, obtained his doctorate uh, at the University of Perugia in central uh, Italy. Uh, he has worked for many years, for two decades, in South Italy, Lucania, Basilicata, uh, particularly on uh, Iron Age uh, into classical periods, southern Italy, the, the colonial situations that were created with the, the Greeks uh, settling on the coast. And he has left uh, his work in Lucania temporarily behind to sort of to dedicate himself to, uh, to the work uh, at Pompeii. Um, and most recently, as of this year, he has been uh, he has left that position uh, where he's uh, which is temporarily left at Basilicata, and he's taken up a chair, uh, or effectively will be taking it up once he leaves Pompeii at uh, the University of Federico Secondo uh, in Naples. Uh, at this point, uh, well, it's, yeah, there, there are more seats here. No, no, no there are more seats here. Uh, his position um, in, as director of the Archaeological Service, as most of those directorships are, are very much managerial positions, but at the same time, Massimo is so much an archaeologist that, uh, as you will, I think, uh, will see from this talk, uh, it is absolutely not just about management. It's about the site and what can be done at the magnificent site, which has, as an archaeological site, has an interesting uh, history itself uh, as well. But uh, that's enough introduction. Um, it's a great pleasure to me to introduce Massimo Ozana to talk to you about the Grande Project of Pompeii, the great project of Pompeii, which indeed new life for that city. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you to, to Peter for this kind introduction, very detailed um, introduction. Um, uh, thank you for this invitation. I'm very, very glad to be here in Brow University to present our current project. And I'm um, uh, twice glad because I, for me, Brow University was always a mythical university. Why? Because when I started my excavation in, uh, uh, up on the mountain in Basilicata, so uh, in Torre di Satriano, the previous excavation were made by uh, Holloway, Professor Holloway in, uh, from Brown University. So in my imagination, America was a Brown University in that <laughs> period. <laughs> and now I'm so glad to be, to be here with you to present so, uh, um, our current effort to save Pompeii. Um, but uh, before to uh, present our cur uh, current project, um, let me start shortly with Amedeo Mauri uh, time. Um, Amedeo Maiuri was a famous superintendent in Pompeii. 
for a long time. Uh, I don't want to uh, retrace all the fascinating story of the second life of, of, of Pompeii and also of the 40 year when uh, my Amedeo Maiuri was superintendent, uh, superintendent. But just say a few words about the recent past of Pompeii and in parci particular about Amedeo Maiuri because the image uh, that we have today of Pompeii is in large part uh, his construction. Uh, in the 1924, Amedeo Maiuri took over from Vittorio Spinazzola, the previous superintendent, uh, and, and was a superintendent until 1961. Uh, so Amedeo, um, Vittorio Spinazzola was famous for the uh, excavation of Via dell'Abbondanza, uh, an epic uh, uh, um, excavation, but also very problematic because he, 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 he used to dig just the, f the facade of the building. So, and now we have a lot of problem with the rear <laughs> part of the, <laughs> of the building. Um, anyway, um, Amedeo Maiuri um, arrived in 24, 1924. Um, um, he was responsible for extending the archaeological site to its current, current, current size. So in, in green, you can see the, all the sector excavated by Amedeo Maiuro, Maiuri. Um, uh, he wanted to, so his aim, I think, was to complete all the, sca the excavation of uh, the entire city. We were lucky that uh, so we remain 22 hectares the in, in white. In the in the slide, um, uh, but of course the, the 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 Pompeii we see today is the Pompeii of Maiuri, uh, thanks to this uh, large excavation of re uh, Regio One and Two. So um, for Pom uh, Maiuri wanted to uh, start a so forth, uh, so so forth uh, uh, excavation uh, and he started with the, the house of um, uh, Ephebus and he was really very, was really lucky so first excavation was this excavation and he discovered the famous bronze bronze statue of the Ephebus that mm, give the name to the house so uh, excavation but in this time also uh, restoration and re um, reconstruction. So it's very interesting the approach of uh, Mayuri uh, to, to Pompeii. And uh, as this uh, uh, slide um, will show, he really changed the image of Pompeii. The here you can see um, the house of Menander during excavation and then during the first restoration. And here you can see the house after the roofing of the house. So in his uh, um, his call was to do uh, excavation, restoration, and uh, also to reconstruct all the uh, the structure, the facade and the structure of the houses, and also roofing, also with the intention to preserve the mm, the, the mm, uh, decoration uh, inside the houses. So uh, with him. Nostalgic contemplation of ruin gave way to philological reconstruction with an interesting uh, vision of the public use uh, of the site. Uh, this I, I want to stress that, that also for Mayuri was not, on important, not only important the excavation and restoration, but only the public use of the, uh, of the site. He thinking to, uh, for the first time to, um, to, give a, to, to have a new approach for the um, uh, for the public use, uh, you can see in this slide. Uh, so uh, this an interesting uh, show of um, object in situ. So where he uh, the, where the object were discovered, he lived in a, uh, today would would be impossible of, for security <laughs> problem, of course. But uh, it was really a, um, a good idea to show also the daily life to the um, uh, with the object uh, in the houses, uh, or not only object, but also the skeletons, the skeleton of victim he discovered. Like in this case, the house, uh, always the house of Menander. L to the right, the bronze vessel in a cubiculum, and in the other side, so the, the victims of the, um, of the house. And here, in the another house, the house of uh, the Smith, La Casa del Fabro. Uh, this is very interesting because they li he leaves the skeletons in, uh, on the bed where they were, and they are always there. 
<laughs> not in the same condition, of course, <laughs> but, uh, but they, they are there now. So uh, my idea is to uh, restore all the, the, the skeletons and to show them uh, like in the Amedeo Ime Maiuri time. So Mayuri was a genius with incredible organizational and act academic skill. A lot of publication is in interesting, in in incredible how he had the time to uh, dig uh, everywhere in Pompeii, outside Pompeii, and not only in Pompeii, but also in, other in several sites in Campania. He was superintendent of Napoli, Pompeii, the Campania and Molise. So s excavation everywhere, but also a lot of publication, also uh, uh, not only for specialists, but al also guide guides for uh, visitors and so on. So um, he was really, in my opinion, a genius. Anyway, his commitment to his task was not enough to avoid the disastrous bombing uh, by the Allied forces in 1943. I, I'm sorry to re remember this uh, tragic event here, but really it was a tragic event for Pompeii, which irreversi uh, irre irreversibly affected the Pompeii state of conservation. Well, uh, the antiquarium was destroyed, and one, 100 bombs were uh, so uh, all around um, everywhere in Pompeii. So you can see in this slide the state of um, destruction of Pompeii in uh, after this uh, mm, several bombing. The, for the for first one was the 24 August, the anniversary of the eruption, and the second one in September 13. Um, so the post-war uh, restoration, in particular, still affect the intervention carried out today and influence our approach to protection, enhancement, and public use. Pompeii, with its est extraordinary second life, has become a vital part of world history, uh, shifting from his role in contempl uh, um, contemplating the ancient world to becoming a central pillar of modern thought. Here are just a few examples with the pe famous people in Pompeii, starting with Garibaldi, then there is Alma Tadema painting Pompeii, um, uh, and there is um, Picasso in a f uh, famous uh, um, travel in 1917 with the uh, Cocteau. And uh, the Cocteau made, made the, 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 the photo, and the, the, the other is the uh, dancer uh, Massine. And of course, Ma Mussolini with Maiuri in Pompeii, and Ingrid Bergman in the famous movie uh, Viaggio in Italia by Rossellini. Um, from the post war, the period to today, <coughs> contemporary society has placed prime importance on safe safeguarding the ancient city. This can be seen in, in international press coverage, but uh, also in the East inscription in 1997 uh, on UNESCO's World Heritage List, and more recently in the Great uh, Pompeii Project, which has received 105 million euros of funding from European community. And this is the problem, because now we have to use <laughs> in a good way all this uh, uh, huge amount of, uh, um, uh, of euro. Reconstructing the site history, including the complex events of its second life, the work, restoration, destruction and reconstruction, is the vital premise on which we base our effort today. We must work toward a deeper understanding of, uh, and greater protection of Pompeii that guarantees the proper conservation condition and access to that such an extraordinary site deserves. The Pompeii Great Project was preceded by two very important events. Uh, the, the first is, was another tragic event, so the collapse of the Scola Armaturarum in the 2010. This was a, 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 a very famous and tragic event, but in a, also, in my opinion, is a, a good event because from this point, also, the government understood that the, the, the approach of Pompeii, with Pompeii was completely wrong. And they had to change uh, approach if they wanted to uh, save Pompeii. And so the second event uh, is a positive one and is a consequence of the uh, first one. So the hiring of 20 new public officials, eight ar architects, uh, 12 archaeologists um, in the staff of, of Pompeii.
And that, uh, that is really a revolution in Pompeii. If you think that until uh, 2010, uh, just three archaeologists, uh, three architects were um, uh, so employed in Pompeii. That's, it's of course, uh, not enough for a so complex, city, uh, so complex site, uh, 66 uh, hectares, uh, so the most mm, extended uh, archaeological site in the world. So this new, um, so young uh, um, uh, public official um, contri uh, um, have contributed enormously to the current effort to save and preserve Pompeii. Um, Pompeii great project is, uh, what is Pompeii, the, this great project? So I can say it's a extraordinary program for the site aimed at addressing existing problem and giving Pompeii a new improved image, focusing first on conservation priority, before then meeting the needs of the general public with a public use and enhancement plan that meet contemporary needs. Uh, a program of structural work and information management will be a general springboard for the Vesuvian city, bringing its beauty back to life, transforming it from a site, a place known for negative headline, to a place known for excellence where knowledge, conservation, training and technology are brought together. So we are very ambitious now. Um, only on the basis of information gathered at once the site has been made safe can intelligent planning for public presentation and use be carried out. The latter <coughs> is absolutely <laughs> fundamental given that today nearly 3 million people visit Pompeii each year. So last year um, we Im improved the visitor at 12% and, I, and this year each month I'm saying it's improving, so maybe this, uh, this year will be three million and a half. That is uh, also another problem because uh, a site so fragile, delicate like Pompeii, with this pre entropic pressure, so we have to also to um, understand how to manage all this, uh, the visit, or with the different itinerary, thematic itinerary, uh, also maybe with the rotation of the houses open and closed, because uh, it's really it uh, uh, could be bad, this uh, um, anthropic uh, uh, um, pressure. This, so this new project um, for Pompeii approached the city for the first time as a, 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 a single entity. So for the first time a project that uh, want to approach the city uh, li like a city, so not just single uh, restoration of domus uh, of houses or building, but a, a project for the uh, old entire side. This is in both in terms of the conservation intervention that are taking place right across the site, as well as those activities that aim to improve use, the site use. The plan intervention within the works plan, so one of the main uh, interventions is the work plan, um, eight, uh, 18 million euros in this plan. Uh, so the plan intervention in this plan do not, do not focus only on individual houses, but include for the first time general work for making complete areas of the city secure. Um, so in this plan you can see uh, with the different color uh, the, uh, all the intervention, they are simultaneously uh, uh, in progress uh, now. Uh, and this, this is really a huge effort, I can say, because if you um, remember that Pompeii um, is every day open with so many visitors and simultaneously we are working everywhere, this is a really uh, very, very, very difficult to... Uh, and and very sometimes I, thi I think maybe it, it would be uh, good to close Pompeii for six months and just to, just to work uh, quiet without so, so many problems. But you know, just one, one day is closed Pompeii, it's Christmas, 25, last Christmas, and it was another scandal. The newspaper ra wrote Pompeii scandal, the, the fence is closed to the, uh, and the tourists waiting for, as you know, every, every museum is closed in, uh, at Christmas. I don't know why Pompeii has to be open also for Christmas. <laughs> eh, anyway, uh, so uh, back to our uh, project. Uh, um, 
one of the uh, major projects, very important, that is, is currently underway, addresses the unexcavated area. Because the problem are not only the problem uh, in, the, in the excavated area, so the 44 hectares uh, excavating until now, but also in the 22 <laughs> hectares <laughs> not excavated. Um, uh, so on, uh, on the edge of the archaeological site, and here, in this uh, um, area, um, water drainage is being tackled um, with the aim of reducing the risk of geological instability uh, and further collapses. If you see in this slide, so how the, mm, the uh, raining water uh, that go down to, uh, um, from this um, plateau, you can understand the so the problem that are in this uh, um, sort of the border between excavated area and not excavated area. Um, so we are, they are realizing a huge uh, draining channel on the uh, on the in, in this in excavated uh, on excavated an excavated area, and of course is we are in Pompeii and to uh, realize the channel. We we, we had also. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we did also in, uh, excavation <coughs> in this, uh, and of course, um, in this point, the um, the, the ruins were very well preserved. Uh, we, so uh, we we, ca we we thought the second no, usually in Pompeii the second level of the houses are not conserved. In the, in this in this part, yes. So when we started the excavation to realize this uh, uh, channel, uh, so for uh, so forth. Sorry, my, sometimes I shift to German. <laughs> uh, um, um, uh, suddenly, so we discover um, ruins. So we had also to change a project. So every every project in Pompeii is not simple. And we have um, on this uh, cu current project, we, are, uh, we had a lot of variation because you can pre uh, uh, know at the beginning uh, you know, wha what you can find in a pl place like Pompeii. Anyway, now we are uh, we know where this uh, drainage channel uh, passes, and we are quite finishing this uh, uh, very important important project. Another project linked to this project. Is the, um, is the project for consolidating the excavation um, edges within the archaeological sites. Um, this is another uh, very important key for uh, resolving pros, um, problems caused by landslides that have led to collapses of various buildings until now. Um, in the past, they uh, Choose the, so they did just single intervention without a, 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 a complex project so to solve the, all the, criti the, the criti critical problem uh, definitely. De definitely. Um, so with this project, it's a project of 18 million euro. We, um, we, uh, we uh, our interventions uh, um, regard all the edge of this uh, 22 hectare not excavated. But the most important part uh, of the work plan are the five complex interventions which uh, will allow all the ancient structure, mosaics, pavement, and other decorative future to be consolidated over the entire excavated area. That's mean 44 hectares. Um, you know the, um, the, 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 the five interventions uh, are the single region or um, two or three regions. Each project regards one region, like one is region six, two region seven, three region eight, and four is radio four five and nine and so on and so and we started with different projects so to we uh, with aim to solve all the to consolidate all, all the project uh, all the sorry, all the all the sites um, and now we um, uh, we finish i think the 45 percent of all this uh, um, project that's mean that quite half of uh, Pompeii is sure now. And we, uh, uh, we want to finish all the project in, ne in next summer, so uh, not this summer, in the summer 2017. Um, just to um, have an idea of so uh, our starting point, so the situation in in a um, lot of areas of Pompeii was so dramatic as in these uh, uh, slides. Um, problem from uh, vegetation, problem of the uh, so gap in the wall, uh, collapsing wall, and, um, and so we're starting 
um, doing a project and just to understand how mm, so uh, complex is uh, um, uh, each of these projects. This is just the, um, the, the Regio 6. Uh, so to, to start with this project, we had to uh, survive an area of 56,000 uh, square, uh, square meter and also 13,000 walls. So thi this is just for one um, uh, of these projects. Uh, here another uh, other slide of the uh, situation in, um, <coughs> in the Regio 6 of the uh, di different walls. And here one e um, example of, so of, the, um, the of this um, intervention of surviving war to understand this, the, the state of the, the risk. And also, uh, the, I think we did before to start the, the intervention a risk map, so to understand uh, um, the situation of each wall. And here, uh, so the uh, aim of the project, uh, which we are uh, realizing now, so uh, the consolidation of um, and restoration of all the wall, uh, so with intervention, intervention designed to lower the level of degradation to restore all the wall continuity. Uh, with integration of the gap um, in the wall, uh, uh, sealing the top of uh, each wall, and so on. So now, the, uh, um, uh, the work are in progress, and each wall, uh, uh, each of these projects, uh, was uh, also the, um, uh, give us the opportunity to uh, start a new excavation because it's impossible to do a project restoration without to know all the, 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 the situation of the building, the, 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 the previous phases of the building. So for example, each um, uh, sidewalk we um, uh, restore <laughs> gives us the opportunity to study the uh, drainage water of the houses, the previous phases of the houses. We have a lot of discovering everywhere, like in, for example this uh, painted uh, plaster. Um, <laughs> of the wall before the, the earthquake of 72 uh, AD, you know Pompeii uh, uh, was tried from a terrible uh, earthquake in the 72, and a lot of houses changed the decoration of the wall, and the <coughs> usually the, the, the previous was um, uh, in the, uh, lived in the uh, sidewalks, uh, under the sidewalk, uh, in front of the houses. Uh, yeah, it's one of these cases. Uh, so just to uh, to have an idea of, uh, of our uh, project, this is Regio A. Uh, uh, this is finished. We uh, open all the, uh, this uh, uh, sector of Pompeii uh, last week, and here you can see how different is the, the image. If you remember the previous slides with the the the, 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 the degraded wall, here is so. You can see uh, at uh, endly the so absence of this, this degradation sense that is was really the shock sh shocked in Pompeii. Um, just to um, to know this region, a lot of streets of this uh, region were closed since the earth earthquake <coughs> of South Italy in 1980. So, quite uh, uh, 45 years uh, and. Um, <laughs> 35. Uh, yeah. um, and the, 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 the it was very important now to reopen all the grid of street, also for the public use, because they usually the uh, visitors uh, are concentrating in the same itinerary, the same street <laughs> via dell'abbondanza and the uh, and the parallel street. So, uh, if you reopen all the grid of street, it's also easier to manage all the, this uh, uh, huge uh, amount of visitor uh, each year, each day. So, um, so this is Re Regio 8 uh, that is ready. Um, um, Regio, Regio 6 is almost ready. <laughs> and before the summer, also the Regio, Regiones 7, 4, 5, and 9 will be restored and reopened. When this work is complete, program uh, scheduled maintenance can start throughout the site which will halt the widespread decay occurring uh, occ occurring across the site as has been unfortunately the case over the last decade the problem was the absence of maintenance for decades de decades so uh, like in region 9 no, it was close to the public it was abandoned now 
of course, uh, with this project, we, the, 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 um, we don't lose of the, of the, pro uh, the problem. Pompeii is a, a, a ruin uh, a, a site, it's an site in ruin. So in, in need every day, every week, every month, a, a scheduled maintenance. That is, uh, will be important. And so uh, uh, next year, when we finish all this consolidation and restoration pr um, project, to start with the normal uh, program maintenance. Um, in this work plan, there are also, uh, not only consolidation, uh, but also conservation project of single domus with important frescoes and mosaics and pavement. We choose quite 20 houses with very mm, mm, uh, important fresco and mm, with so for specific and, um, uh, project. Ja here just a few examples. So the house of, um, a lot of houses in Via della Bondanza, like house of the Sacerdos Amandus, and we reopen all these houses l last December, uh, like Pacius Proculus with this wonderful mosaic uh, atrium uh, with wonderful color, or the Fullonica of Stephanus, so the laundry of Stephanus. And here in this uh, slide, the previous uh, restoration in uh, 100 um, uh, years before, so uh, 1913, and the um, uh, current uh, restoration. Uh, another house reopened last December is the house of Cryptoporticos with this marvelous second style frescoes and bathroom and so on. Um, house of Venus in the Shell is another um, of these houses, or house of Ephebus, and of course uh, also the m from one of the most famous houses in, uh, in Pompeii, the house of the tragic poet with the Cave Canem mosaic that was in a very bad situation. We started restoration without, so the in, in open air, <laughs> so with you, you can see the attention of the, of the public. Um, but the problem was really this attention of the public, so we needed also to arrange a new, a new a uh, glass door because with the uh, fence before was it possible for the guide to throw uh, water on the mosaic just to sh let shine the, the color and this is very uh, dangerous for the um, uh, for the mosaics and so we had to uh, find a solution and we realized this uh, I think elegant uh, door with uh, uh, a glass glass door uh, that now is possible to see without to dam damage damage the uh, the poor dog. Um, here, um, uh, one house, the little fountain, before the restoration and after the restoration, you can see how changed uh, also the, the, the fresco and the color of the fresco. Um, here, the house of uh, um, Fontana Grande, before and after the restoration. Mm. Um, near the house of um, uh, Octavius Quartius. In this case, we reopened not only the house, but also the garden. Um, we organized an exhibition last month. It's, uh, now it's open until the summer. Um, uh, the name is Meat and Nature in Pompeii. Um, and we re uh, re um, rearranged the um, ancient garden, of course, with thanks to the paleobotanic data, um, but also the historic garden. So the garden made from Spinazzola and Maiuri. Um, so a lot of these houses are now reopened. And also, um, our idea was to uh, re um, uh, collocate in situ the, the, ha the, um, the statue of the garden statue. Of course, not original. Now it's, in, it's very dangerous. Uh, but we realized laser scan copies uh, that, they are, that are very good. So and now the, um, the visitor can really appreciate the, 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 the also, also the decoration of the garden. Another very important project uh, in this uh, plan was the plaster cast project, another uh, contradiction of our um, uh, superintendents. Why um, this, so you know, th these are, uh, this, uh, these are the r uh, human being. So they, they don't want it to uh, catalog because a uh, give number to this uh, um, uh, plaster cast with the consequences that with the consequence that until now we didn't know how many plaster cast we have. And also, they uh, were dispersed in, uh, in distributing in different uh, uh, storeroom. We have really not idea, uh, and um, you can see also the uh, 
situation in, in some of these storerooms. They were abandoned for decades, uh, in, in a, a lot of, the, of them th uh, uh, were there since the bombing uh, of the 43, because uh, Mayuri, after the bombing of the Antiquarium, uh, took all the fragment and uh, stored the fragment in these uh, um, buildings, the so-called Terme del Sarno. And so uh, we had to start with a really a knowledge uh, plan uh, with the ca uh, cataloging uh, of um, each fragment, each um, plaster cast, and, uh, af and with a lot of new discovery. For example, we discovered that all the uh, more ancient plaster casts, the first plaster cast was made by Fiorelli in the uh, 18, 19, um, 1963. And uh, the scholar th thought that the, 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 the um, original cast were destroyed. For example, in this uh, uh, um, uh, very good book about the um, uh, uh, plaster cast, Pompeii Living Statue by um, uh, Dwyer, he uh, writes that all the uh, 19th century plaster casts were destroyed in the bombing. And now, with were able to um, recollect uh, all the fragments uh, and also to re rediscover all the uh, previous and that we brought to the laboratory to start this very complicated restoration because you have to, to know that um, inside of the um, cast, uh, the plaster, there is the skeleton. Uh, so the, the human bone. So it's not so the uh, easiest way to to uh, to do a, um, a restoration. Anyway, um, also this uh, restoration was uh, the opportunity for uh, knowledge. For uh, we realized scan or so like in the hospital of this uh, uh, of this um, um, few of these uh, plastic casts. Uh, for example, the dog and the, uh, the, the, the the little child of house of. Um, uh, golden bracelet, um, with a lot of new data, for example, data about the gender, status, um, um, age, and also um, uh, a lot of data about came from the feet of the victim. So uh, we, uh, we are now studying all this uh, um, data, recovering the analysis. So back to the uh, project. Um, so, uh, as I said, the Grande Progetto Pompeii is not only a work uh, so plan, uh, 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 but uh, it's also other operative plan. For example, um, a safety plan um, that is also important in Pompeii, if you think that it's so easy entering Pompeii during the night. Um, so uh, now we realize a new perimeter fences new perimeter lightning, uh, a, new, um, um, a new project o also video surveillance. That um, in, in, in the past there were a system, but just outside the Pompeii, now we realize also <coughs> in, in, inside. So uh, this is uh, very important <coughs> if you think so that tri about among three million persons that visit Pompeii, there are uh, um, uh, well-educated people, there are wild people, so and you have to protect uh, Pompeii with all the system possible. Um, another project, uh, very important project, is a knowledge plan uh, that is already finished and allowed us to create an enormous uh, digital archive uh, where all the data related to the structure and decorative future will be stored. Um, from this uh, uh, archive, um, so th this archive will contain information also on the level of decay uh, using from for photogrammetric survey da data. So the documentation include um, uh, a plan, a new plan of Pompeii in uh, um, in form and scale one to fifty, and this is also very important. If you think that until now we use just a, a, a scale one to five hundred, that is not enough for uh, not sufficient for Pompeii. Uh, it's without detail a plan uh, in such scale. So with this new plan, we uh, this is really the new basis to uh, to start a new project of restoration and also the scheduled uh, maintenance. Here you can see this uh, um, uh, 
digital archive with the uh, information uh, system. Um, uh, and, yeah, and so the new plan uh, of a uh, little uh, part of new this new plan of Pompeii. So the knowledge plan regarding diagnostic activity aimed at monitoring the dynamic state of conservation of archaeological structure through the development of the, uh, an informatic system that will provide the basis for future planning and of scheduled maintenance. Of course, we use all the contemporary uh, technology like laser scan and drone and, and so on. And now we have a really a wonderful uh, database uh, that uh, um, uh, is a, an incredible uh, basis uh, to, uh, to start in a new way all the, uh, all the research and the conservation project. And uh, also a part of this uh, plan is the digitalization of the photographic archive, another uh, incredible uh, source of, of documentation because if you think that uh, we have quite so thousand, thousand, thousand photos si uh, since the 19th century until now, it 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 these photos were really not... Mm, not easy to, uh, to, to, to use uh, without an intelligent project of digitalization. And now when we will fi this project will be finished, I hope uh, in, in, in the end of May, um, we can go in the direction of the open data. So to also to put on our website uh, all this, uh, because this, uh, this is a cultural, uh, so a common, common cultural heritage. So we have to share all this uh, material. It's not a property of the superintendents or, or Italian uh, states. This uh, of everybody. And now we want really to share with a, um, a project of open data. This, this will be next step of the project, uh, Pompeii project. Um, another plan is the public use and uh, enhancement plan um, that is also quite finished. Uh, here, Thanks to an agreement with the uh, um, in-house society of the Ministry of Culture, so the name is Alice, we uh, um, had the opportunity to uh, uh, to hire to hiring three 30 new um, security staff, and with this uh, new guardians, uh, we reopen uh, last year 13 uh, new houses, and other houses will be reopened this year. Um, th this is a revolution for Pompeii. If you Maybe I, I think everybody uh, know Pompeii and know the guardians of Pompeii. You know? uh, this is a, a really a revolution because uh, the, guard, uh, the, the new guardian um, is a young uh, person with a degree. Uh, they speak several languages, some two or three langu uh, languages. Uh, they are elegant. So this is really a, <laughs> a, a, a revolution. Um, so in this uh, plan, uh, we started with a uh, new garden, and we arrived also to realize a new guide for the, um, for the visitor, a new map, a new guide, and, and, and the new guides that we give free with the ticket um, are, are in two 10 languages, so also with the Asian languages that uh, until now was uh, possible to uh, have guide just in the main languages like English or uh, German and French. Now really with 10 languages we open Pompeii to uh, really to uh, all uh, the world. And this is uh, very necessary if, if you think that a lot of the, the visitor now came from other countries uh, like uh, um, Asia. And so, uh, and uh, uh, so we use these different languages not only for the guide, but also for this uh, uh, system of uh, app that we realize with thematic itineraries uh, that also want to have the aim to um, to distribute better the visitor through uh, Pompeii. Um, so we will cre um, create a dedicated platform for Pompeii with intuitive mobile application in a variety of languages and with easy ac access, which will promote information sharing among visitors. Uh, also, uh, multimedia products will allow historic concepts and scenarios to be presented visually while stimulating cognitive processes, thanks to virtual and augmented realities. Um, so not only emotion in Pompeii, we have also knowledge uh, for, the, for the, all these um, uh, 
uh, visitor. Of course, three-dimensional intera interactive reconstruction, immersive environment, and all the so uh, the the product of the new uh, technology technology we will use, and also uh, we decide to. Um, 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 not only to to realize so uh, thematic itineraries, but also a key uh, point of interest in inside the in the site with a different little museum, uh, so to um, uh, where the visitor also can see. Uh, how was the daily life or the uh, public life? Uh, and we choose some uh, point to, uh, for, uh, for example, the Isis uh, sanctuary that is here to realize also um, um, to ex to for this uh, new experimentation. Um, but this is, I think, just really an experimentation now because I don't want that Pompeii uh, to transform itself in, a, in Disneyland. So the, 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 the it seems always difficult to stop in a, no, in a, in a, in a, in a at, at a particular point. Um, so uh, the great uh, great project uh, is bringing new energy and resources to the site, uh, benefiting from a number of uh, collaborative projects with va various mm -hmm. international institutions. This has allowed innovative experimental technology solutions to be launched that will provide more exhaustive resu um, results in the field of the diagnosis um, fundamental for proper restoration and conservation. Uh, but there are also applications for the site enhancement and public use. For example, a partnership is with Fimechanica, uh, an industrial group that gives a, a sponsorship within did an agreement with our mini, uh, uh, minister um, to uh, realize together a, um, a, ra a range of projects uh, um, which aim to moni mo monitor the level of decay within the archaeological um, site and it improves so its conservation condition. We use, they use sensor, uh, wireless sensor in, in, in particular point to uh, control um, so the, the movement of building or, um, or um, landslide, but also we use a satellite, so this, this Cosmo Sky Med satelli satellite for the monitoring for from uh, satellite. This is a project for three years uh, that we are experim so this is uh, actually in uh, underway. To help Pompeii meet contemporary needs, especially those of the huge number of visitors, the public use plan uh, forces ambition action across the entire side. Um, with, um, with, I said, with a um, uh, different visitor route and well distributed point of interest. Among these uh, point of interest, one is a particularly interesting is the, the old um, direction of, uh, of Pompeii. This was a building realized in 19th century uh, from Fiorelli, the, 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 the uh, su superintendent uh, of the um, uh, uh, superintendent of uh, the 19th century. And there is now, um, in this uh, old uh, direction, there is now a, a, a laboratory where, are s where we store the uh, organic material. So this is an uh, incredible uh, material that um, uh, is typical of the Vesuvian town. So are uh, mm, seeds, fruit, vegetables, um, uh, garum, uh, wooden objects, tex textiles, pigments, and so on. And now the idea is to open in this laboratory a little museum to let the visitor uh, go inside and, uh, um, and see all this uh, incredible um, material that usually is uh, um, visible just for specialists and scholars. And now, so we are realizing this project here, um, the rendering of the uh, new project. Um, and of course, also in this case, uh, to, uh, we started with um, excavation of the, um, of better 
to clean the, f the, uh, the, the front of the excavation. And we rediscovered a lot of houses um, forgotten. That, uh, we had the documentation of the uh, um, beginning in 19th century, Mazua documentation. And now we rediscover, all and we want to use this uh, passageway, this corridor, to reach the new uh, museum. And another project, uh, and uh, also in progress, is a project for uh, disabled access. Uh, we call the, this project Pompeii for everybody. It is really, really important because until now it's quite impossible for disabled people to visit mm, the major, um, uh, the principal um, building of Pompeii. Now we started with this project that uh, um, will, uh, it, it will be possible I hope next summer to cross Pompeii, to walk uh, all around Pompeii, uh, to walk, to, to cross all around Pompeii from the uh, one side, the amphitheater, to the other side, um, Porta Marina, uh, connecting new so, um, uh, this uh, um, uh, disabled access with the, all this itinerary that um, we are realizing in, uh, uh, in Pompeii. And here you can see just a few slides of this project, um, uh, we, uh, we choose, of course, uh, the street where, um, when it was possible without, uh, how do you say, basoli. Um, so, okay, the stone, without stone. Yeah. Okay, um, like in this case, the Via dell'Anfiteatro. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, of course, it was really uh, in, in difficult in Pompeii to uh, to, to find point uh, and uh, um, to, to let this uh, itinerary uh, to pass. And yeah, in this photo you can see one of these uh, uh, um, routes um, on, on one side of the forum. And of, um, of course we, had we, we discussed a lot about material to um, use, about mm, because the I always the problem is that Pompeii is uh, the image of Pompeii. We can change the, the image of Pompeii with something that is very, very uh, new or very uh, different from the, 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 the color, the, the material used in the uh, in history. And now I think the, uh, the, the, the this realization is not, not, not bad. Uh, I, would, I would like also your judgment. <laughs> um, So um, there is also uh, another plan, a communication plan. We, we did uh, uh, a lot of initiative, manifestation, performances. Uh, uh, um, and this, um, this communication plan is underway with a different exhibition. Last uh, year, we realized an exhibition of the restored plaster cast, and we realized a, a, a pyramid in the uh, amphitheater that was a li a the, the, the newspaper were a local, were a little bit shocked about this uh, uh <laughs> realization. But of, of course, it's temporary. Uh, it, uh, will it will so just for one year, but it was a really a good way to, uh, to find space, an elegant space. Uh, the architect is a very famous Italian architect to store, uh, to show the, f the, the plaster cast that you, um, uh, they usually um, were in the storeroom. So last year was uh, the exhibition on the plaster cast. This year on, um, about the organic material. And we uh, compare the organic material with the uh, uh, still life in a painting uh, that na na are in Naples. And that for the first time, they came back to Pompeii. From the, 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 um, and it's a very interesting, this, the, the possibility to, com to um, compare the uh, carbonized um, uh, organic material and the the depicted still the painting still life. Another um, ex exhibition is about the garden, and here the house of um, Marcus Lucretius uh, in Via Stabia. And the last one is a, 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 an exhibition on about Mitorai, is a very famous uh, uh, artist uh, dead last year. That they, they realized this huge bronze statue inspired from uh, the classic world. And now every, everywhere in Pompeii there are these uh, um, monumental uh, statues. So I don't want to talk about this, uh, um, uh, this plan, the communication plan. Instead, I would like to invite you all to come and enjoy the different manifestations that are being hosted in Pompeii this year. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. You've uh, given us a great
great uh, overview of all the many, many activities that are uh, unfolding at the moment in the But of course, there's probably other things that we didn't touch on, or where someone else who has a particular interest in something would like to know more about. So <coughs> if anybody has any questions, please. <coughs> Um, this is extraordinary what you what you're planning to do with Pompeii. I don't remember any period since the time I've been going there that anything like this has ever happened. What was the impetus to make this e extraordinary effort to restore? And yeah. And, uh, was it a political thing? Was it inspiration? Was the money, <laughs> the money from the so union? Was, there was uh, um, the situation was so bad in the newspaper. Uh, international newspaper, the, the, the media were each day uh, bombing the so government about uh, the, 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 this uh, state of degradation of Pompeii. And the situation was really uh, bad. Uh, so, um, so the government decided to um, uh, ask so, uh, to the, the European Community for this uh, funding, uh, uh, 100 million. The problem was, like so of, uh, in Italy, they obtained this uh, huge amount of money, but they didn't think that uh, the superintendents in that state, in that, in that situation, um, uh, um, three, four years ago, it was not possible for the superintendent to manage all of the, uh, all the project, of uh, all, all this um, money. And for two years, the situation was really uh, bad. When I arrived, mm, it was uh, beginning of 2014, the other scandal was, uh, every day on the newspaper, uh, Italy mm, uh, get, mm, uh, lose another opportunity. Uh, they, we don't use uh, the, the, the European funding. In, do, in two years, uh, 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 really, um, when I arrived, I think just 400 uh, 400,000 euro were uh, used um, so in two years. Mm -hmm. And you know, the uh, European funding has a, a usually an end. And we had to use all this amount of uh, euro uh, in, uh, uh, in four years. So it was really difficult. The at the end, the uh, government understood that it was necessary. A new governance and a new staff. So uh, we have the opportunity, when I arrived, also uh, they hired a um, general of, uh, of Carabinieri, because you know we are not in Bolzano there. It's a, it's a, it's a dangerous um, territory, or danger, or complex, we can say. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. um, so um, with this uh, uh, general, uh, General Nistri, uh, the, um, they was responsible also of the, the legality of all this uh, um, project. Um, arrived in a, a staff of the great project with a new architect, new um, um, administrator, uh, specialist in informatic. And so with these people, we started uh, all the project, but was not enough. And then when, so when we arrived, we uh, spoke with the minister, uh, we, we told him, OK, it is not possible to finish all the project with the, the, the staff. And we obtained another um, uh, 20 uh, public offi officials, um, for example, engineering, because we had no engineering. And without so an engineer, how do you can you do uh, project restoration project of roofing? The, the, the problem was really the all this uh, um, uh, roof re restore in the, in the post war period. So now we are we are we are and so we, we are our collaborators are quite uh, one hundred plus the the, the staff uh, original staff of the superintendenza, and, and, and the situation changed because the problem was a problem of. Uh, uh, skill, uh, talent, so per, uh, per, um, uh, offi public official with skill and talent that um, now we have. I have a small question. That was a big question. Um, did you ever find any fossilized books in Pompeii, like they did in Herculaneum? If we if we are, uh, did a book about yeah books uh, no uh, carbonized books. ah car uh, carbonized. Uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, in Pompeii, like you have in, in yes, Italy. yes, 
Well, oh, uh, I show. Uh, the, 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 well, uh, I didn't see any books. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. No, I didn't understand. Pap papyri. Yes. Me. No, no, no. Just in Herculaneum. Uh, just the ancient one. So and Herculaneum is not part of this project. Um, Herculano, uh, Herculano is always in the, in the same uh, superintendence, but uh, um, Herculaneum is in a, in a lucky situation because uh, since um, uh, ten years ago, the, the David Packard Foundation um, decided to uh, sponsorship the restoration of Herculaneum, and in ten years, the, the situation in Herculaneum changed. At the beginning, it was peer. In a worst in Herculano than Pompeii, but now is a quite good situation. And uh, always we have this collaboration with the uh, David Packer Foundation. So and also the project we, we um, uh, are the co-co-funding co so between superintendents and uh, uh, private sponsor. Um, in four years, once this money is spent, um, do you have plans to raise funds to sustain? all that you have created uh, into the future? Yes, it, it, it's, it, it's f um, important because um, Pompeii is a rich site. So we, have a, um, we are, a, a, uh, as Peter says, um, we are special uh, in every s sense. Um, uh, we, have a, um, we are autonomous we, with a, an own budget. Um, and thanks to the ticketing. So we have, every year we have quite 25 million. Of course, these mi this, um, this million are not only for Pompeii, but for Ecolanium, Stabia, Oplontis, also the other archaeological, uh, inc monumental archaeological sites of um, our superintendents. Um, and uh, these money are not enough for a, an extraordinary project like this. And also, of course, this, uh, this project uh, solves a lot of problems. There are a lot of houses with important frescoes, with uh, painting, with the mosaics that are not restored. And for in this case, I hope that it will be uh, possible also um, so with crowdfunding project to obtain also um, a sponsorship. Now in Italy, the situation changed uh, completely, thanks to the Minister Franceschini. Now it's possible uh, also to realize uh, intervention, um, uh, private and public together. Uh, so it's more close to the American system. Can you talk about preserving the frescoes, you know, in, in the environment? And also, I think in some of the rooms, there's just a lot of humidity from all the people kind of being in the rooms and preserving it for hundreds of years, hopefully. <laughs> Two possibilities. Oh, the, 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 I think the, the solution would be to close to the public, uh, uh, you know, the most important, uh, but it's impossible. It's, it's, this is really a cultural heritage, human cultural heritage. We, uh, we try now the to, um, to introduce a system of rotation of the houses open and closed. May, uh, and also to um, let uh, in just a small group at, uh, sim at the same time. Uh, this is not enough maybe, but it's, uh, it's the first step to think in a uh, uh, wide way to uh, the preservation also for the next generation of all this. Uh, put anything on the frescoes to like preserve them or are they, are they treated in any way? Or? What? Do they put anything on the frescoes to preserve them, or oh, uh, yeah, the, all the, the, two, the twenty houses I showed, uh, they, they did. There was a were specific project for uh, to the, mm, for the frescoes, and the problem was the, the most important pro problem was not to put, but to um, um, levare. To, 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 yeah, uh, because uh, the, for example, the Villa de, uh, de Misteri, Villa of Mysteries, the um, famous fresco was uh, there was a um, uh, stratification of uh, in, uh, of restoration with different walks. No? They use in the past they used to put uh, wash uh, walks on the on the wall, and uh, that in the time uh, it, it was quite uh, black. So and it was impossible to see the color, to see um, the face of the uh, of this monumental figure. So that in this in this in that case, we use a laser just to remove all the uh, wax stratification. And now we they use a more compatible material, of course.
Other questions? Yes, one, yes, please. I just wondered with the crisis that, that happened here and the response and the work you're doing, um, are you really seeing other archaeological sites kind of following in your, your, the way you've designed? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a, a good question. I think uh, mm, Pompeii could, could be now a, a model, a model. Because, of course, in Italy there are so a huge amount of archaeological places, also very monumental, in Campania, yeah. uh, Baia, uh, Miseno, and Puteoli, Pozzuoli. Um, maybe this is the, w the way. You know, without a knowledge plan like this in Pompeii, it's really impossible to manage a, a huge site, a complex site like Pompeii. So we have to start also with... But in the, uh, so we are, there is a debate now also in the Ministry uh, of Culture to how to use all this uh, um, information, all these uh, experiences in Pompeii, uh, share these experiences with other uh, um, monumental sites. And not only in Italy, but I'm thinking around. Outside, around the way, yeah, 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 yeah yes, you're right. Yeah. 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 Well, you Palmyra, for example, yeah. 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 So thank you uh, very much. I think what we've seen today is how, <coughs> with the collapse of a wall, where it all started, <laughs> which, as I say, sort of kicked politicians into action. And fortunately, sort of great people stepped up uh, and actually sort of stepped up to the challenge. Uh, I think we've seen uh, a lot of interesting information that gives us good hope for uh, Pompeii and also a good reason for going back there. Yeah. So uh, I think there's good reason to raise a glass of wine uh, that we are <laughs> inviting you to here. And uh, but, but before we leave the room, uh, please join me to thank uh, Massimo for this. Thank you.